Hello everyone, this is Clay with DigiFactors Animation. I have the day off today. So I said, what can I do? I ain't got nothing to do. I don't feel like working on an orbit or anything else. I kind of want to take a break from animation on my projects. I want to do something for you guys. So I said, what can I do? So I figured a, tor a tutorial. Maybe another, yeah, another tutorial. But what can I do a tutorial of? I said, maybe I can do something that can fly or something like that. And my wife says, what about a butterfly? I said, a butterfly? Yeah, why not? Why not? A butterfly. So I looked around and I got an uh, image for a butterfly. And I put it into uh, paint.net. So I took this butterfly and I copied it two more times. And I copied the body right there as well so with this right here we're going to use it as a, uh, a a texture and a template so we only need one of these butterflies for the template so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the select tool and i'm going to grab this butterfly right over here and i'm going to copy it then i'm going to create a new don't touch nothing because when you copy anything in uh paint.net and you create a new it actually puts the size in there what you copied so and then all you have to do is paste it so now we're going to save that and well I don't want to put it exactly on my desktop because I already got that there so let's um, create a new folder and we'll call it butterfly butterfly and we'll open it and we'll just call this template and then save it and click OK alright so now we got the butterfly template made now we're going to transport that into milkshape and turn it into a 3d model so let's do that right now I'm going to open up my milkshape Okay, and then we're going to do it from, let's see, I can usually do it from the bottom. Well, this is the top view, so, yeah, at least let's do it from the top view. We'll click, right click on it, and then choose background image. So, browse to where we just saved it, and go to butterfly, and we'll grab template. Once you get it in there, just click OK, and there's the butterfly. All right. Now, let's maximize that. That way, all we have is just this, and we can zoom in closer and, and zoom out further. So we want it kind of close. Now, we're going to trace this butterfly wings with uh, vertexes, okay? And then we're going to play to connect the dot with the vertexes using the face. I'll show you that in, in a few minutes. But first, what we need to do is create the body of the butterfly. So let's do that right now. What I would like to do is start with the head. Now, we're not going to use the the exact same design of this butterfly at the body, but we are going to use the wings. So with the head, what I would like to do is grab the geosphere here in the hierarchy to the right, and we'll just click on the geosphere. And we'll go right over the head, and then we're going to uh, scale that. Now, keep it selected, and at the top toolbar, we're going to find smooth edges. Now, you can adjust this uh, inward pull however how much you want. I'm going to keep it at 50%, and don't cl unclick none of these. Keep these checked. So let's push OK, and then you'll get this right here. Mesh smoothing completed. Please rewield your vertexes, which that means just go back to your group page, your group tab, and just double-click it to select the whole thing. All right. Now, let's duplicate that sphere. Duplicate it, and then click on the Moves tab. And let's move it right about here. Now, let's click the scales. Now, let's scale it. 
We'll do it right about like that. Let's see, I may have to scale it down more. Okay, let's demaximize that and see how that looks. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we'll make it a little rounder. Whoops. Yeah, let's make sure it's right in the center there. Push the scale button. Now let's kind of like round it off a little bit. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Now let's select those two. And when you got them both selected right here, it says regroup. Click on that to, uh, to group those two pieces together. So now we made two pieces into one. So now we got our body. Well, not quite yet. We still need the antennas. Okay. Um, let's start right here. Go back to the models tab and let's click on cylinder. Get a little closer. And let's make a cylinder as thin as we can get it. About like that. And once we get it made, let's click on the rotate and just rotate it horizontally like this. Okay, now let's move it like, whoops. I forgot to push the move button. So we'll click on the move button. Now let's make sure we got that right. Okay. Now, let's maximize that again and let's shape this antenna to the shape of this antenna so click on the select and let's grab our little vertex of the, of the shape whoops take it off uh face just click on vertex we'll do that again okay so let's move it right about here and then kind of rotate them a little bit Hold down control and drag your mouse around to move your screen around like that. And now, now let's select the other vertex. Rotate it and then just keep going until you get the full antenna covered. About like that. Now that last one, we'll just select that and delete it. We're going to put a uh, cylinder there. So let's demaximize. Uh, let's create a cylinder. We'll go over here. Not a cylinder. I'm sorry. Uh, a a G geosphere. Let's create a geosphere. Just a little bitty one. We don't need a big one. Now, from the top view, just move it into place like that. And just over here, and just move it in the center. Let's keep it in the center about like that. There we go. Okay, now, let's take them two pieces, select them, and let's group those two together. Now, with it still selected, let's click on Duplicate, and then in the Vertex tab, we'll go left and right, about like that. And then all we have to do is just move that over like so. Okay, now we got the body and the antenna. But we're going to make that one whole piece, but before we do that, we need to make our textures, okay? So... In the materials tab in the hierarchy click on that and let's click new now we created our texture well not texture our material we just need to add the texture so on this one right here the top one which says none click on that to browse through where the texture you're going to use but now we're not going to use this texture okay this is the template we're not going to use that one so before I do that, let me move that texture into a 
entire folder. Now let's select that texture. Okay, there we go. Now let's add the texture to the antenna. All we have to do is just double click, make sure it's selected, and then double click that material or a texture. Always zoom in close. And you can see that the texture has been applied. It's not right, but we're going to fix that. So let's map it up. Just go up to the Windows tab, click on that, and we'll click on the Texture Coordinator, Coordinate Editor. And that'll bring up your textures editor. So we're going to select the duplicate. Okay. So the duplicate is that antenna. So what we need to do is um, we need to remap it. But first we want top. So you click on the top because we just want the top of it. Click on that. And I'll just scale it. Just scale it down. Shrink it down. Move it over. It, it can be small. I mean, we're not trying to fit it back on the antenna because that antenna and the texture isn't big enough to use. So now, all right, now we got that antenna. Okay, now let's click on the other antenna and do the same thing. Okay. Or if you want, you can delete that antenna, or you can just retexture it. We'll just delete that antenna, and we'll select the other antenna, and then we'll duplicate that. And then we'll left right it. But then we'll have to move it back into place again. Or if you wanted, you could have just went through the process of texturing that antenna. Okay, now let's do the body. And this is the body. Okay, now let's apply that material. And now as you can see, he disappeared. That's because we have to map it. Okay, so we'll go back to the texture editor. And let's select the first group, which is there. And then remap. Okay, now we just got to shrink it down and we want it on this body right here okay now let's close it there we go now let's just go back to groups tab and let's select the other two now we got them all selected now we can make that a body we'll name it body and then click rename all right, now we got our uh, body made. Now all we got to do left is to make the wings. Okay, so let's make the wings. So let's first just move the body out of our way. I want to move it right here. Now let's maximize that so we can see what we're doing. Okay, unselect that body. We're going to trace these wings with vertexes, and we're going to just do one side. Once we do one side, we're going to duplicate for the other side. Okay, now let's go to the Models tab and click on Vertexes. And we're going to place vertexes all around us until we got it completely traced. And we're going to do the top wing first. So let's get going. Just click on it anywhere. You can click and then drag it to where you want it. And the more you have, the closer they are together, uh, the smoother and rounder it will look. So we'll just keep doing this until we get the whole thing. Um, traced 
the more you have, the closer they are, the smoother and rounder they will be. But right over here, it's going to be straight, so we're just going to do one in the middle, and one right here, and then do it like that. Right, let's move this vertex over here a little bit. And then this one will just move that as well. And I'll move this one. I just got them a little bit too close together. There we go. Now, we're also going to put one right in the middle. So we got to make sure we can see that. So, now we can see it. Now, the next thing to do is, is to connect the dots. And we can do that by clicking on the face. Okay? All right. Once you do that, you just start with the first one. And we'll click that first one and then click the middle. And then go back to the one next to it. Click on that and again. Back to the middle. And then that one. So you keep repeating this process until you get the wing completely made. So let's do that right now. Okay, now we got that wing made. Okay, now let's maximize that and let's see if we can see our wing. Let's see, maximize that. Let's see, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Okay, yeah, uh, the wing is invisible because uh, we haven't adjusted the uh, texture because the texture is already applied to it. But what we need to do before we do that, we need to select the whole thing that we just made. So you click on select and click on face because we got to select the faces. You do that. And once you do that, we'll regroup it together. Now, make sure it's selected and let's go to the texture editor. And let's select that one we just did and then make sure it's on top and then remap it. And there it is. So let's scale it and put it right over that wing that we just made, or, or you know, this wing that we just traced is what I meant. Okay, I'll just keep stretching it and placing it until it fits. Oh, I'll do a bit, a little bit bigger, like that. Now let's see, and there it is. Okay. And you can see it's already doing both sides. Okay. Now, we got that wing made. So, we're going to do the same thing for the bottom wing. Like we did this. Tracing it with vertexes. And then connecting the dots to make the faces. So, let me maximize that. And let's, first what we need to do. We need to move that wing out of the way so we can use this area. So, I'm going to grab the vertexes and then I'm going to start tracing a little bit closer. And I'm going to start tracing. So, here I go. And then, one in the middle. Okay, I got it traced. Now, all I got to do is uh, connect the dots. So, I'm going to do that right now.
Okay, now I got that wing done, so let's demaximize and let me select that by the faces so we can group it together. Now let's go into the textures editor. Click on that group we just made and then remap it. And let's just shrink it to fit. And move it over there into place. Now let's kind of like scale it a little bit to get it to where we want it. Maybe a little bit bigger. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. Oh, there we go. Now we got that done. Okay. We're going to grab that top wing that we made first. And then we're going to bring it back closer to that. Like that. Okay. Now, what, what we need to do is we got to slant these wings a little bit. We need it. Front one's going to be up a little bit. And then the back one's going to be down a little bit. So let's rotate that upwards. I like that. And we'll put it there. You got to make sure we're overlapping on those wings. I like that. Okay, and then we're going to select the bottom. And then we're going to rotate it downwards. And then move it back into place. I like that, let's see. That looks good. Okay. Now, let's select the body. And let's move that body back into place about like that let's see okay yeah that looks good okay deselect everything now let's select those two wings right there and we'll group those two together okay now with that group selected let's duplicate that and create the other side of wings. Du duplicate that and then go to the ver vertex tab and then select left to right. And, but we would have to move it over a little. About like that. Okay, now we have a complete butterfly. The thing of it is, we need to have it where we need we, where we can animate it. And we're going to animate this butterfly by the textures in MovieZoo. So in order to do that, we got to select, I mean, select. We got to create two more sets of wings. We need a set of wings that are pointing up, upwards more. And then a set of wings pointing downwards more. So. So let's select this side of the wing and let's create a duplicate so let's duplicate that side of the wings and let's rotate it upwards whoops upwards like so and then move it back into place is that where I had it no it was right there Let's see how that looks. Maybe a little bit higher. Let's see. A little bit higher. Like that. Okay. That looks good. Now, let's duplicate those. And then go left to right again. And, but we would have to move it into place. About like that. Okay. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to rename those wings right there. Uh, let me, let me uh, before I do that, let's select the other side and then group those together. Okay, and we're going to name those top wings. So we won't get confused. Rename that. Let's see. Yeah. Let's kind of move those wings over a little bit. About like that. Let's see. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Now deselect those. Now let's select these wings again. And we're going to duplicate those. And then we're going to rotate it downwards and move it back into place. Okay. All right, now duplicate those again and then left, right. And then we just got to put it back into place. See, there we go. That's right. Now let's just select those two we duplicated it and group those together and we'll call those bottom wings. Click on the rename. So now we got the bottom wings, the top wings. Now what we need to do is select those two wings and group those together and we'll name those mid wings or middle and then rename it so we got the mid wings the bottom wings and then wait a minute what did I do So wait a minute. Ah, I name I renamed the, the top wings mid wings. Let's just change that back to top wings. My bad. Sometimes I lose myself. So yeah, now let's see. Top wings, bottom wings, and we'll name those mid wings. Let's space those two apart. There we go. And then rename it. So now we got the mid wings, bottom wings, and the top wings. Now we got the body. Okay, we got everything we need. The butterfly is complete. The only thing we got to do is set it up to animate the textures in MovieZ. So, and to do that, we got to fix our textures. So let's go here and we'll go back to the original textures. So now what we're what we need to do is is go into the materials, okay, and then we got to select that well, wait a minute. I think we already did that, didn't I? <laughs> like I said, I, I get lost sometimes. Right. So since we got that texture already in the place, um, let me select all to make sure everything is right. So the body is there. Okay. Okay, yeah, the body's there. Okay, yeah, all right, now I know what we need to do. Like I said, I'm, I'm just making this up as I go. I'm thinking about it because, all right. So what we need to do is deselect everything. So we got the mid wings and um, 